Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming and welcome back to Gordian Quest. I completely forgot what we were playing then. So we've got a particularly vicious battle coming up. I think it might be worth us hitting up the camp, burning through four supplies so that we can rest up and try and heal. I say try. I know that we can because um, we can drop field treatment on whoever's particularly bad. You. You. He can share a drink with her. Ah, fuck off. Okay, no, we will go with a special activity for now. She can then heal him for a hundred percent. Yeah, she can heal him for a hundred percent. A random blessing. And then she can heal herself. And then they can have a little party. And then we can do whatever. So. Everyone's fully healed. We don't really need to do anything. So. She'll grant a buff. He will improve his attacks. Let's, let's have a look at the gamble. See if there's anything we can pick up now. We can get a random legendary weapon. We may as well take it. A legendary dagger. Grants double slash. Oh, my boy has got two daggers now. My boy has got two daggers. Let's return to our adventure. Equip our second dagger. It's a shame we haven't got any runes to put in it. So, double slash applies five poison, plus one melee attack damage, plus one dexterity. I'm sure that there's a... Um, a downside to dual wielding without having a dual wielding proficiency. I know there is a dual wielding proficiency, but I can't recall where it is. It might be that one there. So the, the second we get the opportunity to level up our um, dual wield, we're going to take it. So everything's got an increased rank on our daggers as well, which is really good. Uh, do we have any medicines, etc. we can give to people? We'll get you one. We'll get you one. We'll get somebody some uh, some blues as well, just in case. All right. A deadly encounter. And that is not a misnomer. It could well be the deadliest of encounters. Hopefully not. I don't really want the run to end here three minutes into an episode. That would fucking suck. My goodness. He's got 152 health. Right, boys. Oh, Jesus. Why have you got plus two on that? There must be a modifier that's affecting that. We'll just block through for a moment and go from there. Shift two, gain 12 guard. And then we can't do that. So we're going to have to hold up for that a moment. Oh my goodness. These guys are going to cause some uh, some damage, I think. Please don't hurt Alphonse. Oh no, this is not going to go well at all. Right, we need to clear some modifiers from people, don't we? So...
Oh, there's a lot of damage coming that way. Need to apply poison to you. Block. Shift away if we can. Shift away again. Oh my goodness, they are doing an incredible amount of damage. Who do we finish off here? Who do we attempt to finish off here? Um, my goodness, let's take one AP and just try and put some damage out. There's going to be a lot of incoming damage now. Hopefully not in the right places. All allies gates 20 guard. What are you talking about? That's outrageous. <laughs> All allies gain 20 guard. No. What nonsense. Okay, he is fine here. He is fine and we're going to stay here. So, apply poison to you. Throw a dagger at you. We're going to move down here and hopefully mitigate any potential incoming damage. 15 HP. Yep. Please don't hit. Please don't hit. Please don't hit. Oh. We're going to move there. We're going to cure ailments. Do you know what? I think we're safe there. So we're going to we're going to call that a day on that move. The damage over time hopefully is going to have a positive effect for us. This guy should be dead in a second, I hope. Please be dead. Alas, he was not. He will be now. We're going to block. I think we're going to shift up. I know that he might still be aimed at. We're going to move all the way to the back, just in case. Nah, it still is. No, no, no positive effect there for us. Double slash on you. If we're stood on this square at the end, 10 shock. We're going to have to move up. Concealment isn't going to help us. Someone's about to die. In fact, we all might be about to die. All the guards, please. All the guards. Oh, Alphonse, I'm sorry about the damage that you're about to take. Do you know what? This actually isn't going that badly. I thought that these guys were going to rinse us. This guy's fucking dead already. We just need to hope that we can finish off his butt. Like this wanker. Look at this twat. <laughs> He's an asshole. Um, 
Oh, it's just so expensive. All the cards are so expensive. I want him dead. Um, we're going to just apply more block. We're going to enfeeble and daze him. Which I assume, yeah, less guard and less damage. Um, let's finish this brick off. Oh my. Um, let's get out of the electro square. Good luck, everyone. We still have our ability to resurrect all those who die. So, well, one who dies. Purge two on target. Apply five regen. That'll do for you. Deflect. Okay, good luck, boys. Good luck. Good luck. 21 damage and knockback. Okay. Well, Lucius is now in a great position. She's in a great position to drop some heals if need be. Some might. Thrown dagger finishes him off. We can we can do this actually. He's dead. Adios. Oh! He's not dead! He's dead. Whoa, that was worrying. That was a... Yeah, a scary turn of events there. Pierre gains one respec point. Piece of cake indeed. So, we can chip down to the sanctuary, which will... Give us a moment of respite in a harsh and unforgiving land. We can heal up to full for very little money. We could have resurrected any fallen heroes which we didn't need to do but we can pay 25 pound and take a gamble that we get some fate out of it i'd like to get another one there we go we got three so we can at least purchase a legendary item if the opportunity arises you have 24 and no weapon let's return to the shop grants devastate Yay. Oh, armor up. Oh my goodness. Gains five armor. Apply two speed down and two root. This one is deal 58 damage plus 14 damage for every finisher played this battle. I think we're going to take the tribute. I think we'll take the tribute. A two-handed sword. So we have to focus on two-handed level up from here for you. Which I'm, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. Do you have any gloves? Plus one strength, plus two to dexterity based challenges. We can pop a parry in there. We have no green runes, but we'll look for them now. So we need greens, blues, red. We need everything, really. Greens, blues, and reds. Okay, let's return to the shop and see what we can pick up. One stealth on use. We're going to pick up a couple of those. Plus three initiative. We'll pick up a couple of those. Yeah, we'll pick up one of those. Three critical, yeah. We've only got greens. No, excuse me, no potions of healing. Grants plus one to a resist type when placed in a socket. I mean, those are fairly useful, I guess. Let's grab a couple of those just in case. Grab some aloe vera. And some supplies. Whoa. Yep, we're leaving the area. Right, my boy here 
has got a sword that we want to socket. Fire resistance, yeah. Stealth, speed, attached skills grant three critical on use. Hmm. Should we give him increased initiative? Why not? You. That gives you stealth on stealth on use of his parry. Excellent. Fire resist to you. Momentum. So every, every time we deal damage and that's in our hand, we gain critical. We're going to do that. And you. What have you got? That grants stealth every time we use it. Lovely. We're going to go for increased health. Some stat points there for our dexterity increase. We will remove another dodge from our deck. Realistically, if there's another removal, I would actually consider doing that. But no, we've got skill mastery, but no skill points. Probably should have gone that way, but there you go. We discussed not being too keen on removing anything at the moment. But we can. Wasn't there a mastery? No, we're, we've done the mastery already. Let's in, boost one of our heals. And as soon as he said it, he's looking at something else. 9 HP for the boost. Plus 2 to our intelligence. So that should boost it as well. Skill mastery. What skill have you got that I'd like to master? Nothing at the moment. Um, we could take warrior skills, swordsmanship skills, bow hunting skills. Women love men with skills. A future reference. Yeah, we'll go with that. We're going to boost a card's base values. I think we'll go with rend again. Um, that seems to be our current, you know, opening card, doesn't it? Blade Mirage is really good that, um, on our next two melee attacks, we cycle an attack into our deck. So that's an opener, which is really good. Did we already pick up quite a hefty card on our attack, didn't we? On, sorry, on our new, um, legendary weapon. When you use a finisher, reduce the AP cost of a random melee card in your hand by one. We retain that. That's pretty good. The card that we picked up on our legendary is a is a finisher. I'm torn between Heavy Sunder. For every AP spent, Vulnerable is 50% more. Ah, that's very specific though. If they haven't got any Vulnerable on them, then it's no good. I'm going to go with Blade Mirage. And we're good to charge into the next battle without any thought for our own safety. Uh, so we've got area drops a magic item, legendary accessory, a magic item, plus enemy initiative occupied by humanoids consumables can't be used so we're going to add some strange incense to unlock three more grant one fate crafting material blessed with five might burning ground more humanoids burning ground hopefully they're going to affect the ones that we want to go to positively that's no good to us we don't need to look at that that gives us a legendary accessory but the uh has burning ground enemies have plus three initiative can Occupied by humanoids and consumables can't be used. Well, that's the positive way to go. So we'll look at that. Lose 50 renown, gain items. Hmm. You come across an unusable, un unstable rift. You see a dozen realities reflected within, crackling with intense energy as they bump into each other. In the center, a glowing artifact hovers serenely. You feel a strong sense of your worthiness being judged as you approach it. We may as well. I mean, the, the renown really is currency to be spent between um, runs to unlock artifacts to affect our game. And it also allows us access 
get uh, act four so i guess it's kind of like um in slay the spire when you unlock the gems to fight the heart i'd be surprised if we make that far anyway so we can get a respec point 200 gold pierre loses all hp and removes all exhaustion recovers all hp well 200 gold it is then <laughs> that was pretty pointless now, do we take on this encounter? Burning ground initiative, consumables can't be used. I think we do. This is going to be a worry afterwards. Hopefully we'll get a significant amount of level up after this battle to take on the boss with no real worries. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm confident about it, because I'm not. He's got an interesting face. So, um... Oh, we don't want to move either of these guys off of the blocks that they're stood on. We're going to cycle an attack card into our hand. By rending. Slash. Is there any damage being returned to you and from whom? 21 damage from you. 17 from you. We'll finish. Can we finish you off? Let's guard. Returns calls in for reinforcements. Well, if we can get rid of this prick, we better do. Shadow step. Gain 13 guard. So let's shift one. Get some guard. We can distract this guy. Or this guy. Trap one cell. He's dealing his 21 damage. Let's enfeeble him. deal nine damage to you and then we're gonna stab the fuck out of you i think you're gonna die with from the fire at the end of your go aren't you i can purge an ailment on me so i can move that will damage to all enemies swift judgment indeed my friend swift judgment indeed let's move up here and then strike him and then let's just defend. I think we're in a good position there. Well, boy, Lucius comes back around for another go. Eighty-six damage plus twenty-one for every finisher played this battle. Um, goodbye. That was an easy decision to make. Apply the poison, venomous edge. He should be dead. He is dead. Well, that battle was significantly easier than I expected it to have been. But I've said that after every fight so far. And maybe it's time to consider uh, putting the difficulty up for future runs. I am Buckler of the Bear. Nobody can take that to my... She might be able to have it. Pop a guard in there. No runes to put in it. Plus one to intelligence-based challenges. We're not we're not using any construct, so unless that specifically affected somebody else's skills in some way, which it doesn't, we're just gonna break it down. Right, we need to spend these points wisely then. So we're gonna apply skill mastery to venomous edge or epidemic 22 damage plus 10 damage for every poison skill let's do that we're gonna go crazy firing that out now um do we have any way of increasing our health or there's nothing over here that I'm too fussed about. Other than getting to a point where we can unlock another talent socket. So we could realistically slap. What would we go for though at this point? Ah, we wanted 
Mm, it's only a level one talent socket though, isn't it? And is that because we're not a high enough level for a level two talent socket? Level 17. Sorry, I know this is dull. Hmm. Dual wield mastery. I want that, so I need to get to it. Does he have any armor on for us to take medium armor proficiency? No. Range weapon proficiency. Gain critical equal to your dex modifier. Is there if there's an ally in your row? Gain guard equal to dex modifier if there is no enemies in your lane. That can be useful. We can get increased initiative, which is really good. We can't get any agility. <laughs> oh my goodness, we've really uh hampered him here okay we're not going to worry too much about the res the uh respect point at this point at this time i guess let's increase our agility when it has the most effect on everything that we're doing we could probably benefit from a bit of intelligence we definitely could Do you know what? i'm gonna fuck about and increase my intelligence there we go let's put his intelligence up now you where do we go nothing we want to remove at this time nothing we want to master let's go for another spirit healer card i don't know why i don't know why we should probably be looking at grabbing some sort of attack skill shouldn't we so divine is where we want to go then and where can we put that that we can utilize okay we put that there we can take a divine skill tempest bolt 25 damage to targets in row that's great apply two immunity to t to uh an ally oh Purge two debuffs on all allies in square. Apply 13 regen. That's really good. Debuffs are going to be debilitating for us. And applying 13 health regeneration. We are the healer. That's what we want out of this. So I think that's probably the most re um, intelligent way to go with it. Let's increase our health and a stat point in intelligence. You, my boy. where are we going any skills we want to remove yes can we get to one yes initiative up remove that last guard dodge sorry and let's consider some mastery over something Potent. That'll apply through guard. 24 damage and 10 bleed. Yeah, that's not that great, is it? No. Okay. We'll save that until we've got a particularly strong <laughs> card to upgrade. Heavy Sunder. For every 22 damage... Uh, 22 damage... Sorry. Deal 22 damage for every AP spent. Vulnerable is 50% more effective. We looked at that before. Hmm, okay. I think we're going to redraw. Teal, 21 damage per remaining AP. It's a finisher. When you use a finisher, reduce the AP cost of a random melee card in your hand by one. I'm going to take Steel Edge. 
That was a long time to get to a destination, wasn't it? And this is our destination, the realm boss. We've got... couple of heals we can hand out. He can have one of those. She can have one of those. He can have a splinter bomb. I mean, she could really have done with a weapon. Let's, let's put that in her hand anyway, just... It's a shame that we can't upgrade it but there you go i don't know why we didn't do that sooner oh my goodness oh my goodness uh the graboids where is a, a battle versus the graboids unfortunately let's cycle our attacks in so on death reduces the guard that the mega worm has on death adds poison stacks onto the mega worm same with you up there. I think we uh, we look at getting rid of you. So you're poisoned. 25 damage per remaining AP. So we're doing 50 damage. I think we're going to go for a block. Just to be on the safe side. And we'll move you around so you're more vulnerable. So the next attack coming to you is going to do significant damage. Let's apply poison. That didn't work. Didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay. We wasted a whole turn. Throw into the ground. Gain three armor, 23 guard. Eight damage to target and all adjacent targets. We'll deal with the chill damage first. Eight damage to target and all adjacent targets. 27 damage. We don't need to heal at the moment. We may as well, though. It is temporary. Okay, we are... Beginning to get ready to die. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I don't want to die today, giant sandworm dude. My goodness, this is not doing a lot of damage. We need to move, don't we? So let's shift up here. Apply poison to you. Poison doesn't work. Apply poison there. 14 damage for every attack or every action taken. Now we need to hope that we can <clears throat> block through whatever's coming and what is coming. 22 damage to all targets in lane. <gasps> I accidentally... So if you accidentally press spacebar, you end your go. Which is what I just did then. I don't recommend it. We've applied vulnerable. I think we should just go in with the 86 attack damage. What's coming at us? 20 damage. I mean, it's not ideal. If we... Should we shift back? Let's shift back. Throw some more poison at him. And apply dodge. Oh, I hope you've got something meaty to throw out now. Guard. Attack. Purge on you and then re... You know, start healing. Oh, God. I don't think it matters where you stand. I think that damage is incoming no matter what. Yeah, it definitely is. Twenty-five damage. We can do seventy-five damage, or we can just do fifty damage. No block. Spawns worms. Okay, so he's not doing any damage to us. 
Heal up. Do 25 damage. 17 damage two times plus 10 poison. But we can't do it because he's too far away, apparently. Every action played this turn. We only played one. Let's deal 27 damage plus 14. Okay. I think we're on our way to doing something good here. We're going to swap up there. Mend so that everybody gets healed. Bone chill. A guard. Some melee damage. And whatever comes. He's going to spawn. Then he's going to damage. And then a slam. Okay. He's going to burrow into the ground if we don't finish him off. So, let's move up there. Move him down so everyone can attack him. 86 damage. Did I, did I cock that up by... Uh... I think I did. That's a real shame. I, I couldn't hit this guy because I put the worm in front of him. Otherwise, we would have been able to finish him off. He's got 95 poison applied to him. 8 damage to target and all adjacent targets. That doesn't really do us any good right now. We can apply 5 regen to ourselves. Might as well apply it. Nothing else happening. He's... Oh, he's dead. He might be a big, scary graboid, but... Oh, he really fell at the first hurdle, didn't he? Wow. The Mangler, legendary blunt weapon, two-handed, requires 24 strength, grants crush, plus four melee attack damage, plus one strength per 10 cards in deck. My goodness. Regain all fate points, gain 105 renown, gain no renown for completing this realm, gain double the renown you would have obtained for completing it. We're going to go for 105. <clears throat> I genuinely read that as foreskin sanctum. So, enemies have physical resist. We don't want that. Roots have a higher chance to be difficult to cross. Contains two realm bosses. Party has minus five physical resist. Party gains two exhaustion when entering. They have a chance to contain random caches to aid. They also have a chance to be afflicted with energy siphon. I think we go with that one. Two exhaustion is going to suck. But there's an, <clears throat> a distinct possibility. We can get it removed before we've even had a battle if we want to. But then we can also be blessed with five might. Contain hunters caches. I think we should go that way. But for now, I've been asked at Candy Gaming. You've been bloody marvellous as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that other wonderful stuff. I think it's going well. It's going a little easier than I thought it was. Um, In all honesty, when I started this run, I only had a couple of hours under my belt. And now I've got 20 hours under my belt, plus. So I definitely have a better grasp of how the game plays. I, I think... If it's at all possible, I might have to increase the difficulty for future runs. I definitely think that um, we're going to go for a slightly harder campaign mode if it's at all possible. But, please, come back and join us on the next episode. You take care now. And goodbye!